Welcome to Wika. Today we're going to wire a residential receptacle outlet rough stage. We've already landed the wires in this box. Now this is a non-locking box. So while normally non-metallic sheath cable is 12 inches from a box, that is for locking boxes. For non-locking boxes where the openings are just free, you have to secure it within eight inches. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get these ground conductors. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure they're not wrapped up in all the other wires. And we're gonna push them in like this. And basically, what we use in residential is called a ground crimp. And all you have to do is slide this ground crimp on the conductors, making sure that it's a minimum of six inches. And we're going to crimp it just like this, crimp, and then we're gonna twist them. Twist them together to make sure they have really good continuity, right? We only need one wire to be pigtailed out for the receptacle. So we're gonna do this and we're gonna push this to the back of the box, just like that, just like that. Then, real simple, this is power in and power out. We don't uh, need to pigtail these wires together. Some companies do that, but most residential companies what they do is they just push it in the back of the box, cut them to length, and then fold it in, just like that. Now, you notice I rolled it as I folded it in. Reason why you do that is because sometimes the sheet rockers will route around your box. They'll go to the inside, and the router might clip the wire if it's close. If your wire's up here, they could clip the wire and destroy your nice electrical installation. This is a typical rough makeup for a residential receptacle.